Hey guys, this is Barbers with Barbers Gaming. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to overlay video or how to put a video inside of a video. I've been getting a lot of, quite a few requests for this lately and I figured I might as well go ahead and do a video on it to help y'all, the visual learners out there who are just having a hard time with it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have Shotcut open and you're going to open up your video file whatever video file you're using I'm using some uh, gameplay of Critic Online drag it down to your timeline next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up sorry we're going to click down here and we're going to insert another track insert a video track and same thing, just for the sake of saving time, I'm just going to open up another of the same video. So it's going to be a video on top of a video. And to compact your timeline, if you need to cut anything or if you just need to be able to view the whole timeline, you can use the uh, zoom in and zoom out on the timeline here. And it will condense your timeline to where you can see the entire thing. And also for the sake of saving time as far as for the job, I'm going to cut my video down. Down to about was that three minutes or so. A little less. Alright, so basically what we got here is we got two of the same clips. You're just going to be stacking your videos on top of each other. Um, all you're going to want to do is doesn't matter which one. I usually try to stick with whatever I'm doing the most editing to on to the top one. Um, all you're going to want to do is go to filters. You're going to want to go here to filters. And you're going to add. And it's going to be a video filter. And you're going to scroll down until you see size and position. And you're going to select the size and posi position filter. What you're going to want to do next is on the size right here, you're going to want to resize this just for, you can resize it to whatever you want, but I'm just going to resize it to 320. Now this is only resizing the video that you currently have selected in your timeline. It's not doing it to both, it's only doing it to one. So as you can see right now, I've got this video is sitting inside of the other video. And then if you want to get rid of the whole box here, you can just simply click on uh, click on fill, and then with the dragger, you can drag it to wherever you want. And then you can also use the resize boxes here in the corners of the video to resize it. So you can resize it to whatever you want. And guys, I'm here to tell you that that's literally it. That's it. Now, don't be, I'm going to go ahead and play this. It's going to be grainy, or it's going to be, looks like it's going to be laggy. But don't be afraid of that. It's going to look like that. Um, so you can leave it literally just like it is. It's going to be slow. No matter what part of the video you watch, it's going to be slow. <laughs> now, this is the same video. I already did the project just for the sake of saving time. I've already got it up, or I've already got it right here. This is the exact same project that I just did in front of you. So, as you can see here, the overlay, the videos, there's no lag. Everything is, let me scroll some gameplay. There you go. There's no lag between the two videos, so it's just the preview that makes it look laggy like that. So don't, don't be afraid. Don't, don't, uh, don't get scared that it's doing that. That something's messing up because that's just how it, that's just how it's rend that's just how it renders in the previews. But whenever you go to actually export it, just export it like normal, and you're fine. So, so when you're done with that and you're ready, you've got all your filters done, you've got everything to do to it that you want to do to it, just simply go to the export tab and then export file right here and then name your file and save it 
to wherever you want to save it to and that's it that is it ladies and gentlemen if you like this video please click the like button if you enjoy the content of my channel don't forget to click that subscribe button if you have any questions or comments please feel free to ask I'm always available for commenting uh, for helping out with any questions you may have I'm usually quick to respond so if you have anything just uh, just shoot me a comment or shoot me an email whichever you prefer alright guys this is Barbos with Barbos Gaming and this has been another shotcut tutorial segment and I hope you'll have a good night